a wee mishap there in the first recording of this, but rather than scrap it, we'll just talk you through it. So this was the question here. It was from the DEB paper. 2020, so the math paper, higher level chemistry. So they give you the equation, and once they give you the equation, straight away in these limited and excess questions, write down the ratio. So it's one is to four, is to one is to one is to two. They give us this information here in the reactants, or the reagents. These boys here on the left hand side always work with them. And the big thing here is determine what is the limiting reactant. <clears throat> Even though if they ask us for the excess, we still work with the limiting then when we put it back into the equation. So they took, give us 5.3 grams of manganese dioxide, MN, a D block transition element. So that's the first thing it did. Number of moles of MnO2, worked out its relative molecular mass of MnO2, and then we're going back to moles we're dividing. So 5.3 divided by 87, give me this. It was a mess of a number. I think it worked out as 530, or 53 over 870 or something like that. Then this was a new sort of way of getting information on a reactant, working with the molarity. So once you see the big M, work with that. The big M means how many moles in a litre. So one mole in a litre. Now one litre, remember, is equal to a thousand centimetres cubed. So that's why we said one in a thousand. One divided by a thousand. We don't have a thousand. We've less than a thousand. We've 150, which is 0 0.15 moles. <coughs> now we'll see which of these is limited and which of these is excess. So the 0.15 moles stands for this. The 0 0.061 stands for this. So say if I'll bring this back down to MnO2, I'll have to divide it by 4. So 0.15, divide that by 4, is 0 0.0375. Now 0 0.0375 is a smaller number than this. So this is the limiting, this is the one we work with. Limited. And I'm actually just going to fill this in now into the actual equation. So 0 0.0375 and up here, this here was 0 0.15, 1 is to 1, so 0 0.0375, 0 0.0375, and then times that by 2 for your water, 0 0.075. If you're working with your manganese dioxide, just to double check it, 0 0.061, that's the number of moles of this, to bring it up to HCl times it by 4. Is 0 0.244, which is bigger than that, so that is an excess. So they ask you what is an excess, it's MnO2 is an excess, and what's the, the limiting? It's HCl. Now, the questions then in part two find the mass of MnCl2. So we've got the number of moles of MnCl2, it's all straightforward from here. Number of moles is 0 0.0375 to get to the mass, e times it by the relative molecular mass, and MnCl2, one manganese, one by 55, two chlorines, just remember to keep in your halves. Four point seven two five grams, and then the last one there, the volume in centimeters cubed. Just be careful on this. It's that STP. Just keep a wee eye out for room temperature and pressure as well of Cl two. Again, we've got the number of moles of that. And when we're leaving moles, we're multiplying, and centimeters cubed at standard temperature and pressure is twenty two thousand four hundred. 0 0.0375 by 840 centimeters cubed. So that was 10a, and then 11a was also another limiting and excess. So this is the equation they give you here. It's 3, 1, 8, 3, 2, 7. 
And what you're looking at is the oxidation of a primary alcohol, ethanol, into ethanol. Now this is part of your oxidation series, PAC, primary alcohol, aldehyde, carboxylic acid. We're start, stopping here because we don't have an excessive amount of oxidizing agent. Um, your CR2O7. So it doesn't go complete oxidation here. It stops at your aldehyde. The H plus just stands for your acid. So again, they've given us information of our reactants. We've got to determine which one. I think they've asked you which one was an excess. So we've got the number of grams of ethanol. Oh well, go back to moles. So we've got to get the relative molecular mass of this, 2 times 12, 6 hydrogens, 1 oxygen. So when you're going back to moles, you're dividing the mass in grams divided by the relative molecular mass. Nine over hundred or zero point zero nine moles. Don't go plugging that in straight away. Remember, you've got to see which one is the limited. Here, you've got seven point four five grams of this. Oh God, Na two Cr two O seven. So you got to get the relative molecular mass of this. So it's two sodiums, two times twenty three. Do it up here. See a wee bit of space. Two chromiums. 52, 7 oxygens, 70, and then 2 waters, water has a mass of 18, and you add all, all those up, you get 298. So I'll work out the number of moles of dichromate. So 7.45 grams to go back to moles you divide by the relative molecular mass. You get 1 over 40 or 0 0.025. Now you've got to compare like with like since I have this answer. That's 0 0.025 of that. Bring it up to ethanol times it by 3. 0 0.075. 0 0.075 is smaller than that. So this is our limiting. This is the one we want to work with. And therefore, since they ask you which one's in excess, make sure you leave nothing vague. Ethanol is in excess. This is the one we work with. So 0 0.025 goes in up here. 0 0.075 goes in up there, which is the same as up here. You can fill in the rest, but I know it's percentage yield. It told me how much ethanol is produced, so I don't need these boys here. Always double check. There's my number of moles of ethanol, 0 0.09. If I wanted to work out how many moles of dichromate, you divide by 3 which is 0 0.03, which is bigger than that again. So that's an excess. Um, and then to find the percentage yield, work with the formula that you've got. That's actual yield over what you should get in theory, if there was no loss product in the experiment to make anything a percent times about 100 or 100 over one. Now there's my actual yield. I've got to work out my theoretical yield. So your theoretical, theoretical yield should be bigger than your actual yield. So you've got your moles, to go to mass in grams, multiply by the relative molecular mass. So the RMM of uh, ethanol, two carbons, four hydrogens, one oxygen, 44. Now to get the yield of that, 0 0.075, which will be number of moles, by 
44. It's 3.3 grams. Theoretical yield. I know I'm all over the place here, but and now put this information into this formula, the percentage yield, actual yield, which you got 1.98 grams over what you should have got in theory. And to make anything a percent times it by a hundred. And a lovely looking thing is 60%. Generally, you will get decimals in that. It's two decimal places or so, but that looks nice, it looks right. That's it.